Okay, so I'm going to show you how to draw a circle using a ruler and how to start your design for your mandala. So I'm going to give you a 16 by 16 paper. You need a ruler and a protractor. Okay? So this is an example of what we're going to do. You guys already have done this because you did the, um, the color wheel. So we're going to start off with marking the center of our paper. So we know half of 16 is 8. So I'm going to mark at every, not at every, at 8 inches. Put my ruler edge to edge of the paper and mark 18. So now I'm going to put my ruler down, line up these little marks I made, and just make a bullseye right here. Right there. So this is our center. Okay? Now, what we want to do, we're going to try and make a a circle without a compass. So you want to keep your ruler all the time here in the center at 8. And then what I want is for you to go to the edge of your ruler, make a mark at 1, make a mark at 15. Okay? So now we're going to come over here, do the same in this direction, make a mark at 1 inch and at 15. Okay, so now you get your protractor and you put it down in the center. You guys know this already. So we're going to go 30, 60, we already know 90, 60, 30, Turn this around, and then we're going to do 30, 60, 60, and see those numbers in there? 90. Okay. So now we have that information. So now we're going to line up, put our ruler here in the center, and line up these little marks that we made. See, right there, 8 has to be there. Go from 1 to 15. Put your ruler down. Line up your marks. 1 to 15. Oops. Put the ruler on 8 there in the center. One to fifteen. Get these marks. One to fifteen. And well, you know, so I'm just going to do them. center 1 to 15 okay so now we have this um, now you're just going to take your pencil and go all the way around think of a circle so your your lines are a little curved so there's your circle now, you are going to, let's say you want to have your design, um, whatever design you're going to make. Let me straighten that out. And let's say, for example, um, I'm going to do my initials. Like I've told you guys before, it's as simple as doing your initials. So, 
I don't know if you guys know what my first name is, but I'm not going to tell you. It's with a V. It starts with a V. I'm just going to do this. Oh, man. Looking for my eraser. So, I don't have an eraser on this pencil, very little. Anyway, so here is my V, and then let's say I'm going to do something on this side, because we have to do something on that side in order to make something look interesting here on all sides. So, now let me do my C. Or Castañeda. And then, um, I don't know, maybe I want to do this just for fun. So now I'm going to take a piece of tracing paper and I'm going to draw my piece of pie. design dark you guys because that way it transfers over like that okay then um, normally I'll cut that out but then you want to put it face down this way, line things up. And then trace it out again. There's the beginning of the shape, and then you'll be going this way, and that way, this way, and that way. Okay, that's the end.